Hello and welcome back to Let's Supreme Ghost Thief. Today it's time for Heist Society. Um, and this is the second and last mission by Asylum. And I want to play this following Hidden Agenda. And uh, this is a, a different mission, but I can definitely recognize the style of Asylum here. Um, I was a little bit underwhelmed when I played this mission the first time, but ghosting it is a treat. It's very difficult, and that to me is, is a good a sign of a good mission. Um, it's just more durable and the replay value increases. So let's go ahead and uh, start this thing. There's no briefing, uh, but the objectives are as follows. Lord Jellard's control of the aristocracy and city, city leaders suggests he somehow manages to get sensitive information about them. Find proof of what he's up to so you can hold it over his head. You must be stealthy in order to succeed tonight. Do not allow the guards to get a firm warning of your presence. This is optional, but uh, of course we're playing Supreme Ghost, so all optional objectives are also required for us. So this is uh, kind of a ghosting objective. This won't um, fail if you get second alerted, but only if you get third alerted. So it's, it's not as difficult as ghosting. And then of course we're Supreme Ghosting, so we can't even get first alerts. It will be a crime to pass up such an opportunity to make some cash, steal at least 2,400 loot. Lord Gellard, uh, is it Gellard or Gellard? Probably Gellard, owns several extremely rare fine china vases that collectively are worth quite a sum. Five should constitute a collection to any buyer. I don't remember exactly how many there are, but um, five is not a problem. I think there's quite a few more than that, probably seven or eight or something. The Lord is also reputed to own a fine collection of gems he keeps on display in his gallery. Time to make them yours. You are a thief, not a murderer. Don't kill anyone. Your sources have told you that Lord Gellard has a secret underground passage leading to City Hall. You need to find some more information about it in order to find it. Find it. All major houses issues, house issues will be controlled by the house captain. So try searching his quarters for information. So basically we have the captain's quarters to visit in order to figure out how to leave. Uh, we have to steal the gem collection and the china vases and 2,400 loot. And we have to find proof uh, against Lord Gellard, basically. So we're obviously not going to buy anything we can for Supreme. Uh, notice that there are two invisibility potions here that you can afford, because you start with 2,000. Um, but we have rope arrows, too, which is always nice to have. And there's no need for us to pick up anything else of weapons, at least, or potions. Um, these are the abbreviated objectives. Now, as far as a map, this is a, a map, an auto map, but it also fills in as you discover it. Kind of like parts of Hidden Agenda was. So it's a little bit difficult for me to explain my way around the map right now. There's a ground floor. This is the outside area is already mapped, but the inside is not. This is a courtyard here in the middle. Then you have the floor above is called the first floor. And then you have the second floor, and you'll also have the basement and a couple of other areas too here on this side. So we start in the graveyard in the north. Um, now, this mission... Uh, can require a lot of backtracking if you don't have a specific route. And it's very slow backtracking because most areas are difficult. Two of the biggest problems in this mission is that most of the floors are tile or marble. And many windows and doors are see-through by enemies. Uh, they can spot you in other rooms and the problem then is that you can't hear that they alert to you. So this mission can't be Supreme Ghosted, unfortunately, um, but we shouldn't have to take any first alerts. So that's going to be my goal. Uh, we are going to have to turn off a security camera uh, that we can turn back on again. So that's a good thing, but we shouldn't need to take any other busts besides that. We have to skip two pieces of loot as well. That maybe is possible to take for Supreme. I don't know. Uh, I haven't been able to do it, but maybe some of you could be an extra challenge for some of you to try to figure out a way to, to get those. I think it might be possible, but I haven't figured it out. 
Uh, and I wasn't in the mood to sort of excessively try since the mission can't be supreme ghosted. Um, but it might be possible. I did try quite a bit. Uh, now, what we are going to need is a master key, which is in Gellert's quarter. Uh, it's in the northwest here on the second floor. Uh, that opens up a lot of doors that no other key will be able to open. Uh, and it just will ease my playthrough a lot better. So I'm going to prioritize going there. We have to go to his chambers anyway because the proof against him is there. <clears throat> However, in order to get into his chambers, you need two things. Um, you need, well, actually three things. You need a bronze key, which is one of those gears that are the mechanist gears. And that's in the captain's quarters, and we have to go there anyway for the other objective. Uh, but you also need to turn off a security camera outside his room. I have not been able to sneak up there without busting even Ghost, as far as that camera's concerned. And to turn off that camera, we need two other keys. We need a security key, and we need a housekeep key. Uh, those unlock two different doors that access the control panel that'll turn off the security camera, which is in the southwest here. So we have to get a copy of the security key, and we have to get a copy of the housekeep key. The housekeep key is not a problem. Um, the security key is a problem, though. There are two copies of the security key. Uh, you can take either for Supreme. It's not a problem. But in order to avoid backtracking, I'm going to take a security key that's very close to the beginning area here. We can go in through a window, and we can take a security key on a guard in a, a sort of a watch station here in the northwest. So that's going to be my progression. Um, and I'll show you, of course, the map as we go along. And I'm going to try to map the whole mission. You can't for Supreme. There's a couple of smaller areas that you can't get into. Um, but the majority can be mapped. So we should have a pretty complete map, map at the end. Uh, I am also playing this mission with the EP, the Enhancement Pack textures, and the Necro Age mod as a lower priority. Uh, this being a Victorian building, I think that it lends itself very well to high resolution textures, and it doesn't look off-putting at all. It looks very, it's very pleasant to look at. So I decided to, to do that for this one. So let me know what you think about that. Okay, so we start in the graveyard. Nothing to, to worry about here. That's going to come here. Lots of cameras in this mission. That can be difficult. You can obviously see one up here on the second floor. Let's wait for him to go. Let's make a real save first, shall we? Gosh, come on. They were on top of each other anyway, so. So this is what I mean. Guards can see you inside and you have no way of knowing that. There's a guard up here and a camera. Here's a water arrow. And this is a window that we can pick open. There's a guard inside here, too, that comes past occasionally. This window we can relock later. Let me do that. There. So now we're in the dining room. They're even labeled on the map, which is cool. So we're in the first floor now. Let me check the volume here. Yeah, 
should be good. Let's see. So here you can get his pickpocket. Oh. You can't get all the pickpockets in this mission. For Supreme, even. That is a challenge, but you can do that. not going to do that, but here are two plates. He comes back in here. There's also three apples, a cucumber, and a loaf in this room. But here is a bottle of wine. Total 70. This guy, I don't know if can see you. If you rush through this area that is lit here. Don't want to take any chances. There's a camera. Who's there? Oh, see. <laughs> There's um, a lot of ways. To, There's a lot of ways to get caught in this mission, that's for sure. Here's a guard, and he has a security key. Now, um, in order to take that key, you have to get into the room. And that can be difficult to do uh, for Supreme, because you get a first alert. You can easily rush in there for Ghost. But to get this key, I have found a method that is actually quite tricky. I don't know if I've used that method before. Let's wait for this guy to pass. <coughs> we can do this. <laughs> I'm going to save it here. This is quite risky, but I'll do that. Um, God, if you sneak in... Eight hours of this thought. He does see you. Um, but you can't actually <laughs> rush in. Like that. I saw something. And then he only gives the first alert. Just my imagination, I suppose. So we can't do that for Supreme. So in order to do this, just because I've been here only a few months, like, who's been here? So sometimes he sees that rope. <coughs> no, he didn't. If we turn around now, very quickly. Dun, 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 dun. Then we are past his point of view. Dun, dun, dun. We can take that purse, and we can take his security key. That's what we need. Now, to get out, you can actually go very close and then rush out. <laughs> like that. <laughs> you don't need a rope arrow to do that. So there. Now I want to wait for this guy to come back in because we're going to take the dumb waiter down to the basement at this point. What do I see there? A little bit too fast. <clears throat> There's a guard in the distance, but he can't see you. Wait, he's stuck, is he? No, he's not. So this is um, creep crouch strafing. That's the fastest without actually affecting your light jam. Fastest way of moving. So if I'm moving sideways a lot, that's what it means. Okay. 
Actually gonna make a real save there. This is the dumb waiter that is on the middle floor right now. So we gotta make sure we leave it on the middle floor when we exit the mission. can't get hurt, actually, on these lights if you get sort of stuck between them. Right, we're in the basement. Here's the gold goblet. Here we're safe because we're behind the pillar for that light. That's a woman. There is a, a male guard here, too. <coughs> Go in here. So now you see we are in the basement. We came here. This is the dumbwaiter. So that takes you up to the dining room. Um, on the south side here. On the ground floor. And it obviously also takes us up to the second floor. What's that? Bad timing. There's a male servant here too. He has a housekeep key that we need. That's one of the reasons I went down here now. Spice bag, some food. Over here, three copper stacks and one silver stack, and a readable. Francine, while you are an excellent cook, I do need to speak with you about the kitchen expenses. They are entirely too high. I know for a fact that day old bread sells for half of new baked, yet you insist on buying the fresh baked goods. Why? The guards and servants do perfectly fine on old bread. And the cheese? Find the slightly molded ones and make a good deal with the shopkeeper. Just cut the mold off the edges and it will be fine. The guards and servants will never know the difference. Also, don't buy so many apples. I don't like them and they are pricey. Kitchen expenses must be reduced to an acceptable amount. By the way, I hear that the butcher just got in some wonderful Burrick T-bone steaks. Make sure to get some of those for my dinner tonight. I'd also like some fresh green beans. The fresher the better. Lord G or Gallard then. Back. Here are some cucumbers, and then there is a secret, pretty obvious there on the wall. I think maybe it's out here now. Four bottles of wine in here. Total 340. Okay, it goes back out. It sometimes goes to the right there as well. Now we want to go in there now, because we have the security key. Notice that we started the mission with a healing potion as well. Here. And here. This is the security device for the gem collection. So we want to make sure that we switch that off, which we're doing right now. That turns on a light, but that is not a Supreme Bust. It's only removing lights that are Supreme Busts. Go 
gold goblet and a plate here. I hope he leaves this room. I hope he doesn't come over here because then we're screwed. He's done. That he heard for sure. He just doesn't give first alerts when he is stationed. Hmm. We're gonna have to wait here. <clears throat> There's also a cheese, two carrots, um, two cheeses, two carrots, and two loaves. on the counters in the far, far back there. <clears throat> so the window that we picked open to get into the dining hall actually locks with the housekeep key. So now we have that, we can lock that then on our way out now. Mm -hmm. and we're going to take the dumbwaiter back up. Uh, the whole basement has been mapped now. Send this back to the middle floor just to be complete here. We're going to use that more later, but he's coming back down. That's good. Okay. Then we can leave here, and like I said, we can lock this with the house keep key. Okay, can make frequent real saves in this one. Now we are gonna make our way around the entire premises. I wanna make sure that I visit as many rooms and areas as I can. So that we're gonna do, we're gonna go around counterclockwise now. Uh, you don't have to do that, but there is a door that's open here in the southeast, and that is very easy access to the captain's room where we can find um, two things that we need. difficult area soon to get through. What's there? He has more broadheads. Pickpockets. There's also a gas arrow in here. You can see the the gas from it. It's in a flower bed right there. Okay, this might be good timing because we're gonna have to go through this area here on the west. 
So that is tough to do. Save over that one. I hope that the guard behind me doesn't come out. Just don't hear them no more. Kind of sad. Gonna keep to this speed here. Yeah, so that little speed up, and you get caught. Now we should be safe here. <laughs> Good. That went better than I thought. Okay. We're going to move over this direction now. Oh. Can't get past there. He sees that. Maybe we should just pass over here then. These windows here are difficult, dangerous. Can I go around here? Okay, so he has to be Yeah, he has <clears throat> arrows too. What's that? <laughs> I can't go in now. Uh, there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go up and tell him. No more guard duty. Six half and years of guard duty. I'm gonna put my finger up and say uh, I've had enough. And that's it. That's what I'm gonna do. There are guards patrolling inside here. This is then the southwest section of the mansion. At least on the bottom floor. It's nothing like taking the scenic route, right? Now we're in the south. There are two guards protecting the main entrance. And there's one more archer that patrols here too. I 
and that archer has the last pickpocket outside. So I, I need to wait here until the archer comes back, and then when he turns around again, I can go a little bit faster. That's the only way to get through this area without busting Supreme. Something just I think I could have gone a little bit faster, actually. <coughs> there. I think that's better. pace in this mission is just so different when you're Supreme Ghost compared to regular ghosting. You can run through a lot of these areas for Ghost, but Supreme, you have to sneak. There was a guard inside there. Did you see that? If I'd gone faster there, I would have gotten caught without knowing it. So this is then the southeast entrance. Um, here, you can actually climb. <laughs> and this is the bedroom of one of the priests, and you can actually use the housekeep key to get in here. You can pick the lock open too, but then he wakes up. And here is the second copy of the security key. And that you can actually return here without him waking up as well. So that is a viable option. But this door here requires the house master key. So if you choose this, you have to get this by using the window. And you have to do it, for Supreme at least, by getting the housekeep key. We're going to visit that room and read that book there a little bit later. From the other side. Maybe he saw me there. There are two moss arrows in this garden. in the restroom. This door is here is locked and opens to the security key. And this I think just controls the lights in the hallway that we just came through. Nothing of interest in the stalls. So this is now the swimming pool room. This is then east of the central courtyard. So we're now pretty much straight south from where we started the mission. In here you have two 
water arrows at the bottom here. Can't really see it, but they're there. Okay. Now, up here, you have one, two, three, and four windows. There's none in that corner. Um, that you can use to access the second floor. Three of those are pickable. That one over there in the northwest, that is unlocked. We're going to use that later. This one right here we're going to use, because that is a way to get into the captain's quarters without turning off a security camera. There's a, an archer outside here, and there's an archer in that room too that can see you if you go into this corner. Nobody comes in here, luckily. Here's a camera, you can maybe see it between the drapes. And that is pickable as well, but also responds to the housekeep key. There's a guard, you might have seen him just pass there. So this camera here, unfortunately, is the reason why we have to skip two pieces of loot upstairs in the barracks. Um, I'll show you this area a little bit after I'm done with the captain's quarters. You can turn them off, turn off this here. Nowhere else, as far as I know. The security key will take us in here. Though I think this door is also pickable. Yes, it is. But if it's pickable, you still have to relock it for Supreme. Here's a gold vase. And over here is the bronze gear that we need to get into Gellard's room. And there's a scroll. Dear Captain Horath, I would like to thank you for your continuing good work in improving the guards. The new staggered shifts you suggested are working out very well. No longer am I awakened at 7 a.m. by the sound of stomping feet going by my window. Your efforts in improving their combat skills are no less commendable. Everyone in the city is saying that my guards are the best around. No more street urchins bothering my coach. No more vagabonds showing up at the kitchen for a handout. No more beggars out by my front gate. Things have vastly improved over your predecessors. Please don't concern yourself about the rumors regarding your training methods. A guard's life is a difficult one, and most city people just don't understand that it takes a tough approach to create an exemplary guard. By the way, I have sent Sergeant Gray to my country estate. Since that last training accident, he just hasn't been the same. Please be assured that he is still capable enough to guard there. By the way, I will need you to come with me tonight. If I'm not in the library, then I'll be downstairs. Remember the red suited child is my favorite picture regards Lord Gellard so that is a key to a painting with a red suited child opening the um, secret basement entrance now we got new objectives we check this one off Lord Gellard's private library is your best lead for the secret passageway once your other objectives are complete you use it cannot drop this scroll which indicates that it probably has very important information. Here is the secret. And that takes us down to a hidden chamber. And here is Horath's journal. 414. It was a good day today. There was some mangy street kid checking out Lord Gellert's coach. I knew he was up to something. The way he kept checking out the coach and trying to see inside. I grabbed him before he could do anything and threw him against the wall. He made a most satisfying crack as he collided with the bricks. I know that noise. He has broken a couple of ribs. And maybe his arm. It was the least of what he deserved. Then some stupid wench came running up, screaming about cruelty to children and that the brat didn't do anything. Of course he didn't touch the coach. Yet. You have to stop them before they do. That worthless scum child was probably one of the dozens she had churned out over the years. Those people are just garbage anyway. Lord Gellard was quite pleased at how well I protected his coach. 420. The servants are really slacking around here. Last Wednesday I went for my weekly bath, and there weren't any towels in the cabinet. I get that lazy laundry wench's arm a little twist as a reminder. The cabinet has been full of clean towels ever since. She is much more industrious now with a broken arm than she ever was before. Then I caught that lousy bum William sleeping behind the woodshed. 
He said he was just resting up before taking the next load of wood in. That guy is a lousy worker. I had the steward put him on double shift so we can get at least one day's work out of him. The worst one this week was the stable hand. He was drunk in the kitchen again, complaining that he was short on his wages. That the hours were too much, and how he needed to take his sister to the doctor. What a whiner. Then he started spouting off, saying the worst things about Lord Gellard. He called Lord Gellard a blackmailer, and said he was going to go to the magistrate and tell him all about the terrible things Lord Gellard had done. How dare he call Lord Gellard a blackmailer? It was too much. I hit that sniveling whiner with the fireplace poker. What a jerk. That stupid stable hand died after only one hit with the poker. An inquiry would cause Lord Gellard a lot of embarrassment. I mean, it's not like I would be found guilty. That guy deserved it. I hit him under the floorboards here with my journal. Now I'm stuck with that stinky guy around. I better not let any of the servants up here. 421. I told the steward that the stable hand had left drunk last night, swearing he would never return. He didn't seem too worried about it. Apparently the stable hand had left his last employer the same way. Lord Gellard was annoyed at having to get another stable hand. I quietly told him about the stable hand's untrue accusations. He wanted to know what I had done to stop him from spreading those lies, so I told him. He was impressed with how I defended his good name, and how I had taken care of the problem so that there wouldn't be any police poking around here. Lord Geller said that he had been looking for a fellow like me to take charge of the guards, and promoted me to captain. I can hardly believe it. This is the best day ever. 5-4. These past few weeks have just flown by. The servants are more productive, and the guards are shaping up well. None of the street urchins come anywhere near the coach either. It's good to be a captain. 515. Lord Gellard came to me today. Seems that Peter and Mary have been carrying tales about him recording people. He said the steward had already spoken to them about their gossiping. Now they are trying to make it seem that Lord Gellard is plotting with the mechanists, simply because he is having them install some additional security. He said that servants like to gossip, but this is entirely too much. Lord G said that he can't dismiss them because he it could look like they were telling the truth, but they cannot stay because it's too disruptive. He wants me to take care of this one, one way or the other. Why do I think it's going to be smelly in here again? So that checked off a new objective. Find Captain Horath's quarters. No, uh, Captain Horath's brutality towards those opposed to his lord is legendary. But now you have proof, and so will the Bulldogs. So that we can't drop. And in here... Oh, yeah. We have a gold nugget. 555. And then we have another readable. Dear Emily, will your mother be moving out soon? Things are getting rather rough here. The captain overheard me complain about having to haul all the firewood by myself and has been making things rather difficult. That guy has a mean streak and a mile wide and 40 fathoms deep. He broke a maid's arm last week because he didn't have the towels ready when he went for his bath. Try to convince your mother to go back to her old job at the Parker estate so I can return home. Running the fruit stand at the market is better than working here. Affectionately, William. So it seems like there are four bodies in here. Some older. Oh, that should be it in here. Let's see. So now I'm going to make a real save. Turn this off, and then I'm going to blackjack this guy. So, this upstairs area here I've not been able to get get out of. You can get up here. I'll show you how to do that from below when the security camera's on a little bit later. Um, but I've not been able to sneak uh, past this area here without getting caught by that camera. It just doesn't pivot far enough. So in here, that one is empty, I think. Cheese and an apple. 
This is pickable footlocker. Contains a stack of silver coins worth 12, so that we have to skip then for Supreme. So this is a dining area, or mess hall. Here's a shooting range. All, given the recent accident that befell Madame Belle Garve and her beloved poodle, all archery practice towards the target dummy is to cease. To avoid any future misfortunes, the shutters at the end of the range have been nailed shut. Sergeant Ra Rathbone. <laughs> so that means somebody missed the dummy, shot the arrow through the open window, and it hit a dog in the streets outside. Okay, and there are, I think, a total of five broadhead arrows in the wall behind there. It's also readable in here, I think, yeah. The watcher shall remain on at all times except during maintenance. They are not watching you, they are watching for thieves from the outside. So stop acting like they are and maintain your patrols. By the way, when I catch the archer that has been using them for target practice, he will really regret it. He has earned himself a few minutes substituting for the practice dummy in the sword room. The security key shall be kept at all times with the guard watching the stairs by Lord Gellard's room. No one is permitted to enter the library at night. Too many guards fall asleep in there or leave dirty fingerprints on everything. Night shift has plenty of time to sleep during the day, so just get used to it. The house master key is to remain with Lord Gellard or myself. If for any reason I am not at the house, the key will be secured in my or Lord Gellard's rooms. No one except Lord Gellard or I am permitted to have that key. Anyone on a break must have one of the roaming guards relieve him. No one is to leave their post unguarded for any reason. I don't care if you haven't eaten for 12 hours or the dinner isn't sitting well. The first time I catch someone leaving their post unguarded, they will forfeit two days' pay and earn a flogging. Second time isn't going to occur. Are we quite clear about that? We are here to guard Lord Gellard and his home, and that is exactly what we will do. Signed, Captain Horath. Okay. Also have this room. Oh, this actually responds to that security key. And here we have a statue worth 15, so that's the second piece of loot we have to skip down. And there's just some carrots in this one. And there's another diary. There was something frightening about Horth's rabid devotion to protecting Lord Gellard and his property. It reminds me of the old Inquisitor up at the Hamrite Temple. Oh, he was a toughie. I can still remember his favorite saying, swing the hammer and let the builder sort them out. Oh, he was enough to give a body nightmares, he was. What the blazes does Horath have against the servants? He goes around berating them and worse. He never allows them a moment of peace. Why, this week he broke the laundry maid's arm. I'll bet he has no idea she has been doing both her job and Mary's. Thinking of which, the steward need to get a replacement for Mary. She was due back from her mother's weeks ago and hasn't returned yet. I'm going to post a note at the bottom of the stairs telling the servants to not come up here. Horath caught one of the maids trying to clean his room and became totally enraged. It was all I could do to get her out of there. It turns out that no one, that one of the guards was complaining that it smelled up there, and it seems to be coming from Horath's room. Not much to report. Sergeant Gray is doing well at the country estate, and all is well here. Horath seemed, or came up with the idea of staggering shifts for the men, and it seems to agree with Lord Gellard and the men. Miracles never cease. Gah. I went to check out the window by Horath's room to see if the pool was in use. What a stench! Whatever that smell is is not coming from the pool, and there is nothing in the hall. It must be Horath's room. I'll see if I can get one of the maids to clean out any dishes he has in there. That smell was simply disgusting. How can he stand it? Horath has all those maids terrified. I finally got one of them to come up to clean. She wouldn't do it unless I stood guard to warn her if Horath was coming. Good thing she did. She was only in there a few moments before I heard heavy-footed Horath on the stairs. <clears throat> I got her out of that room and hid her in the hallway curtains before, the maid, before he made it to the top of the stairs. As soon as Horath was in his room, that maid was running downstairs as if the trickster himself were after her. I tried to get that maid to go back upstairs to clean Horath's room. She absolutely refused to go, but did tell me something odd. She said the room was clean, there were no dishes laying around or under the bed but that the smell was horrible in there. It would take more than a dead rat or two to make it smell that bad. I've got a bad feeling about this. 
Okay. That is everything there is up here, besides this other room here. But there's nothing in here. Carrots, again. Okay. So then we have to skip 27 loot from those two items. drop into the water here without getting caught. Can we? Maybe we shouldn't do that. No, we can't do that. Oh yeah. That nobody hears. Good thing about closed doors is that they do seal out the sound. There is a patroller that goes through that room too. And outside. So now we have the bronze gear, we have security key, and we have the housekeep key. That's enough to get into Gellard's room. So we're going to do that now, but we're going to do that via the first floor so we can hit the rooms on the way here. Okay, this hallway here is dangerous because there's windows on this side and on the other side. Okay, let's wait for him to pass. I think we're safe here. I think so. If you stand and pull the sword and nothing happens to the light jam, you're usually safe. Yeah. Three statues in this upcoming hallway here. Archer in the other hallway. There's one on both ends, actually. And then he obviously goes through that room. So I'm actually going to wait here until that guard comes back. So we need some loot at the front end of the chapel here. Um, but the window is, is just too much to monitor for me. I think we're good now. an archer up here. You can see him right there. Also one that comes out of that door. Okay. 
O Master Builder, let us build our house in strength with a firm foundation set on bedrock. Let the stone be uncracked and the timber straight and true. Permit us, our roof, to be a constant shield against the foes of wind and storm, and our windows tight against all drafts. Let our gutters be efficient movers of water, lest our basement become a swimming pool. Allow our chimneys always draw correctly, so our fires burn bright and the drapes do not smell like smoke. Assist us, we entreat you, that our electrics should operate without sparks and shorts, and our plumbing never clog. <laughs> Brethren, let us not forget the builder in our daily lives. Amen. Back now. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that he caught me there. And we took a silver bowl, was worth 10, and the gold candlestick worth 50. We should have 660, which we do have. Okay. Then... I want to go in here. I'm not playing games here. That's the archer above that we saw from inside the chapel. He just hear me tap heard me tap. Just gonna go up and tell him no more guard duty. So I wanna head into this hallway because we don't get account for this hallway. Guard duty. I'm gonna put my finger up. Other than coming out of that door. That's it. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Who's making all that noise? I want to make sure. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good. He wasn't stuck. I was afraid of that. So now we got to count for that room. You can see. I want to wait one more round for him because we need to climb up here. And I want to do that at the east end of this room, which is the opposite end. And then we can get caught by him through those windows. Oh, okay. Well. There's a vase. One of the vases that we need to get. And here is the archer that we saw from no, below. The army. He has... Um, let's see. He has both a housekeep key and two broadhead arrows. Let's see. However, hello. Open the door, and he hears it. So this is my first ghost challenge for you guys in this mission: is um, get the two pickpockets from that guard without any supreme busts. do that, you pass that challenge. Shouldn't be too difficult. So I can't remember. Is it number 70 we're up to now? I think it is. I've done quite a few. Oh. Quite a few challenges. But this is a mission that a lot of people like and know, so maybe those challenges would be attractive to, to try. Okay. OK, 
Get a vase here, total 795. Vase is worth um, 60. Oh, oh, there is nobody that comes into this hallway, but there is a an archer that. that passes it. Oh, you know what? I didn't know that the housekeep key actually unlocked this door, this room. Okay. So now we're in the priest's room. So the housekeep key unlocks both of those. Okay, that's fine. So here's the security key that we saw then earlier in the south. So uh, the east part on the second floor of the chapel is just this little balcony where the archer was stationed. Uh, so that area there I cannot get account for for Supreme. Uh, because when you open the door, he first alerts. 420. The install of the gear lock on Lord Geller's door went well. He has two of the specialized gear keys, one of which is kept with him at all times, and the other is either left in the safe or else with Captain Horath. That isn't a good plan. What if Captain Horath loses it, or forgets it in his room? I tried to impress on Lord Geller the importance of the gear keys. He seems to understand that he needs to keep both keys secured so no one else can enter his rooms. However, he doesn't seem to understand that if they both are lost, then the entire mechanism would require replacement. That is not an easy task. Lord Gellard is utterly fascinated with the Victrola. He was asking all kinds of questions regarding their manufacturing speci specifics and how do the recordings are made. He was fairly knowledgeable uh, about the differences in quality and sound production. He has ordered a Victrola and a crate of records to use as a greeting device in his entryway. The oddities and whims of the nobility never fail to amaze me. Began installation of the watchers. Some of them are in place, and they should be operative soon. I can't believe Lord Gellard was complaining about their price. He ignores the fact that these watchers only need their gears oiled once per month, and the mechanism itself only needs maintenance perhaps once a year. They don't sleep, they don't eat, and they never desert their post for a trip to the privy. They keep a continual watch, which is more than can be said of some of the human so-called guards. I caught one of them in the bar the other day, drunk as a skunk. That alone proves the superiority of our mechanist security devices. Hmm, who might that be? Installation of the watchers is complete. Lord Gellard wouldn't lose, loosen his purse strings one bit more than he had to. There were only a minimum of watchers installed. The mansion would be so much more secure if he would permit a watcher at each door, and preferably each major hallway. The best I can say is that the Lord's rooms and his library are covered, but sadly most of the mansion is not. I spoke with him today about installing some turrets to complete complement his watchers. He was complaining about their cost just like he complained about the cost of the watchers. He whined bitterly about the ammunition and maintenance charges too. What good is the cannon if it does not have good ammunition, or if it misfires due to negligence? Then he had the nerve to sulk about the possibility of misfire and property damage. Those machines are ex expertly engineered to produce the most advanced technology in home defense. And he is whimpering about price and property damage? I'll be certain to mention the damage on the outside of his house due to the bored target practice of his archers. He should change his mind then. 5-2. Lord Gellard has ordered a Victrola for use in the ballroom. He has decided that pre-recorded music is much more preferable to hiring musicians. He believes that with a sufficient variety of recorded music, there's no reason at all to put up with the fuss and bother of having musicians in to entertain his, his guests. Not coincidentally, it is far cheaper to purchase a dozen recordings than to hire a quartet. He then inquired about placing an order for an additional half dozen of the machines, along with a similar quantity of recordable discs. Does he want to have recorded music throughout the mansion? That old skin flint that's <laughs> the first time I think I've heard that. Skin flint. Would only permit the installation of a few turrets. That's more than he was originally ma wanting, and is a few less than what he could really use. I really don't understand this fellow. He's one of our most influential citizens, has a simply amazing gem collection to protect, and can easily afford the best security system in town. Yet he tries to cut corners whenever possible. 
one thing that would help assuage the skimpy security that he is willing to pay for some of the little roaming inspection bots and a couple of the larger combat bots. I don't know that he would pay for them though and we mechanists certainly are not providing them for free. Lord Gellert's other order arrived today and he confided to me his plan for the extra Victrolus. I must say it isn't something that I would have thought of on my own. It is, however, a stroke of genius. Why have security that can only see when so much more may be discovered through other channels? As usual, Lord Geller wanted a discount before paying the order. I allowed him two cases of recordable discs instead. He will be ordering more of those soon enough. 525. The High Priest is allowing me to bring over one of the big combat bots for Lord Gellard's inspection. It is easily equivalent to four or five human guards. I can hear Lord, Lord Gellard complaining already about the equipment cost and the fuel expense. If he purchases even one of these, and supplements it with a couple of little ones, then he would save plenty over paying all of those human guards and providing their bed and board. Either way, he is still going to need to keep some of the human guards. He just has not permitted enough mechanical security to be installed to do away with very many. Okay. Let's see. This is an empty room, and this is another way from the swimming pool. But at least we get the count for the room. What's that? So I want to now use the time here. You know what? We're going to listen to that conversation on its own. I think it's worth worth doing that. It's a good conversation. Nobody bet. Come on. It's the science that deals with the atmosphere, weather forecasting, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, my utmost fear is spiders. Ever been down in the sewers? There's some really big ones down there. Well, I was working for the city for a while. I said atmosphere, you tapper, not utmost fear. <laughs> What's that? It's the gaseous envelope of a celestial body. You know, the air. Oh, but how do you... How do you study the air? You can't even see Look, it. Look, you tapper. It's a scientific fact that... <sighs> Why do I bother? It just looks like it's going to rain, that's all. Why do you always treat me like I'm stupid or something? If you're so smart, why do you and me have the same job? Oh, looks like it's going to be a long night. <laughs> Fantastic. So, I think we're going to have to wait for him to come around one more time. five pieces of loot up there that I need. So he saw me there. It's difficult, this.
There we go. 910 is what we're supposed to have. We took four plates, uh, one on each of those pillars and two above the fireplace and one of those precious vases as well. Those vases are worth 75, all those that count for the objective. Now we have to follow this dude. These guys are now facing the same direction as they did before. And he obviously has arrows that you can take. Not sure how far this guy comes. Ten ten is correct. Let us do the real save. Some nice paintings in here, but in this area there is a switch that reveals another secret. With I think our third base. Not sure who this guy is, but globe and a horn, but nothing else of interest. Okay. So we're now moving um, west here. You can't get account for the main hall on this floor, neither this area here, because there's an open living room downstairs. <laughs> he didn't hear that, did he? Huh? What? Oh, he might have actually. I'll have to wait and follow him instead. <clears throat> Yeah, out of out of all the fan missions I've tried texture packs in this one, it probably fits more than any. <clears throat> so here's that camera we saw from the north earlier. Doesn't see us. We're gonna go in here to get a count <coughs> of the bathroom. Right, yeah. And then we can go out through this door. Here, 1115. Nothing else in this room? No. Not again. 
You need the house keep key here. And only the house keep key. And then we need the security key here. That's why you need both of those keys to do this. So we have to turn off this camera. Uh, I didn't show you that camera earlier. I should have done that. Um, but the camera is up the stairs, right where we took the security key from that guard. So it's up here. And if anyone has a way of getting past that camera without, no. like, up and down... Let's see... So now we turned off that... Oh, we didn't. What? said I was going to turn it off. I didn't actually turn it off. So this room here doesn't unlock to the house key or the security key, only the master key. Went to this room. He doesn't alert to the door. Luckily, he's just a little bit too far away. Here there is a <coughs> necklace. <coughs> Total 1205, there's nothing else in here. So the room that we haven't been able to go into now is there, but we're going to get the house master key soon. is now. Is he outside? Yeah, he is. He's coming up now. Okay. <coughs> so here's that other guard that we took the security key from. Let me just show you under here. There are two water arrows in this one. We don't get a separate count from that, so there's no reason to go in here, really. What's there? Oh. Lamp to turn. This camera here. That one just catches you, and you can't get covered by the railing enough. Now we have to be a little bit quick here. We have to use the bronze key here. Get in, and the bronze key disappears. We can't relock really this door, but we can close it at least. And now we are fairly safe. There's nobody in here. <clears throat> okay, in here's the statue. Coins, some nice looking bookshelves. <coughs> and this is the the bedroom. <coughs> we have a vase, a goblet, a bottle of wine. And we have a purple vase here. And here we have a pickable chest. With a house master key. That we are going to need. And we are going to need to return it because it's droppable. Can't lock this one. This is not loot. 
Scroll. Lord Gellert, you are invited to join us at the opening ceremony of the Dayport Museum on the eve of the 22nd day of the 8th calendar month. We are pleased to open with such wondrous display displays as the Varieth Gem Collection, found within the mines of the Varian Ranges. The horrors of the underworld featuring stuffed exhibits of the most hideous creatures found within the depths of our city. And the wonders of technology, an exhibit specially created and maintained by our good friends, the Mechanists. The highlight of the evening will be the unveiling of the special Tyrannian Blood Diamond, the crown jewel of our collection. Valued at, a, at an astounding 20,000 gold, I'm afraid it will have to be kept well behind glass and security devices. But you will be privileged to be one of the first to see its sheer beauty and richness in color. We hope to receive a reply confirming your attendance. Lord Fenger, Ferringer, owner and curator of the Dayport Museum. Not going to need that. There. So that key there is the reason why we needed to come up here. Not just because of my own convenience, but because you needed to get the gem collection. The bathroom, we have a goblet and we have a ring. Total 1571. That's all up here. I don't think he sees the door being open. I want to keep it open just so I can monitor him. There's a secret in the ceiling here, ceiling panel. That was the last secret I found. Uh, Cleverly uh, hidden. difficult to get down here again with a rope. Let's see. So up here we have two pieces of loot. And this one, which is pickable. That is the fifth vase. <coughs> so we check that off. Two more, two flares over here. There's another chest that I don't think is pickable. No, with the statue. Let's see. Can we get down here like this? Oh! Yeah, that's usually what happens. Okay, that worked. That he heard, for sure. <coughs> That's probably a part of the engine that I dislike the most, is the inability to, to maneuver well from a small ledge. What's there? Like how you can't do that is just beyond me. Because we have to do that before. Someone making... 
Dun, dun, dun. Oh, come on. What you have to do is actually go onto the ledge of it. There. Okay. This door here is the door to the library. That's one of the last places we're going to go. go to that locked bedroom. <coughs> so we have the house master key. Okay. Here is a copy of a bedroom key for this door. There's no way to get in through the window, is there? There is. Okay, so you don't need the house master key to get in here. Here's a vase. Here's a readable. My dearest Lord Gellard, I find that I must compliment you on your impeccable taste in porcelain vases. I've never seen such a rare collection. Those miniatures are so dainty and exquisite. They are absolutely flawless, and the china is so thin it appears nearly transparent. The coloration is superb, and the designs are superior to any I have seen. There were even vases by Hildalgo, uh, Mikimoto, and Ritani. Truly, you are a meticulous and discerning collector of vases. In fact, it is the best collection outside of Lord Fer Ferringer's art at the Dayport Museum. My highest regards, L Lady Roger, or Roget. Sounds French. Okay, there's also uh, coins over here. There we go. All right. So that's right. Well. Yeah, the housekeep key you can get in with here. Okay. So that takes us above the walkway. Um, so here is the last archer outside with arrows. So my second ghost challenge for you guys is to get these arrows. Um, start inside somewhere. Go outside, get the arrows, and then go back inside without busting Supreme at all. So that is my challenge for you. So you have to start inside and end up inside somewhere. So that would be, I guess, number 71 or maybe 72. I can't remember. But yeah, get these arrows and get back inside. So two pickpocket challenges for this mission here. Now we are going to Hello? Oh. safe here. I said no. We're going to use the dumb waiter now and go back down and loot um, the majority of the ground floor. So we can actually move east here uh, because the camera that was outside here also gets turned off. There are three cameras. The one outside Gellert's uh, the one in the hallway here and this one. Now, you don't need to turn off either of these. This one here you need to in order to get uh, to these pieces of loot here in those two rooms. Um, but this one out here you don't need to. You can go around. So this is the only the one camera that is really needing this bust. I'd have 
had a feeling we didn't need to lower that dumbwaiter, but I did it just to make sure. something but <laughs> so three gold candlesticks in the dining room here <clears throat> oh heard it, it seems. So, we're going to head down towards the gem collection now. That's our main goal. Three. Don't think there's anywhere else we need to go here. Oh, yeah. Sure, he saw us there. I want to get the count for the courtyard. Having visited that. to that or what he did. Yeah, he does hear that. Okay. So yeah, I think it's only this little area um, here and those two rooms that you can't get account for for Supreme. Well, you can get a count for these two, but you can't get back down. Who do I hear there? Oh, so they hear you through the doors if you eavesdrop. down to the basement. Okay, here we do get the count for this little security room. Up here. I think that shuts off the lights. Uh, and this door here the door into the library but if you open that you have to close it and when you close it you actually get an alert from okay I don't know what happened there I think my recording got cut off I was about to say you go in there you close the door and you get a first alert from a stationary archer let's see to get out of here safely you gotta do this And then if you go down here, you can go left. You don't get a first lord from him. Okay. In there, that room is locked. It's this little room here. There's just a big troll on. You can turn on music that blasts through the speakers here. No need to do that, of course. We have to go slow here because there's... There are a 
double glass door. Doors at every corner. In there, in that little room, there's a water arrow in a bucket, and then there is a control panel that turns off the fountain, of all things. That we don't need to do. Let's see. Hello? Okay. Pretty good timing here. So we want to follow him. There's a guy sleeping there. That control panel turns off the lights in this area. This is the gallery. windows out here, but there are no patrollers outside in this area. So take these best you do that. And then this. So now we can take the gem collection. And I forgot to say earlier that when we switched off the alarm system, down in the basement, that is a supreme bust because it's a sec security system. So there are two busts in this mission. Turning off the security camera. I'm just going to wait here for that guard to come back. And turning off the alarm system because normally when you take these gems even if you have the master key you trigger the alarm and that sets off everybody so i'm still a little bit unsure of what the term security system refers to but generally we've interpreted it to be alarm systems that act as either ai like watchers or cameras do or those things that are meant to alert other people to your presence. Oh, okay. I think I should go in the other way here. gallery. It's really only one vase that we need. Total 2384. All those gems were worth 345 total. room there are two goblets that hits the loot goal. There are guards upstairs you're hearing here. We're going to go back into the main hall. So we locked all of those display cabinets. And that checked off the gem collection objective, and we reached the 2400 loot goal as well. And here is a purse, and there's also a message we can listen to. Greetings, my esteemed guest. 
Please accept my regrets at missing the pleasure of your company. I'll be out the remainder of this evening attending various social functions. Please be kind enough to leave your card with the sergeant before departing. Thank you. You could see the guard in the distance there too. I didn't want to go fast here because people can see you multiple rooms away. As long as you stay slow, you're pretty safe. That vase was worth 75 in those two goblets, 30, and the purse in the foyer was also worth 30. There was also a cheese and a loaf in that little sitting room where those goblets were. And now we are pretty much done downstairs, so we're going to head upstairs right now. back in here now and now we can head up one of the other windows in the swimming hall. So let's see here. Can we get past that area? I think we can. So we want to sneak past here now. That archer can't see us from, from way over there. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, let's see. Yeah. Let's see, I wanna go up here next. Okay, the whole game room gets um, checked off if you go into this room too. I wasn't sure of that. Um, now you can go through you're here drunk and, you're on duty. and we're going to listen to that conversation fired, later. You, know? you can take a bottle of wine here, but she actually hears the door open. So after the conversation, she will first or sit, give a settling remark indicating that she has first alerted. So that we don't want to do. Instead, we want to utilize their conversation, but <clears throat> not use the door to get that piece of loot. <sighs> because um, she takes too long to settle down from that, and she actually gives us an alert. And this window was not, uh, not locked. So during their conversation, we have to take... Um, two pieces of loot. Uh, hey, how's about another drink there, pretty barmaid? I think you've had enough, Benny. You're already drunk and you're on duty. We could both get fired, you know? <laughs> no. 
That won't happen tonight. And why is that? Well, for starters, Lord G and the Captain aren't here tonight. And uh, the Sergeant is down in the Lord's Special Library. So there's no one around who'll give us tap about it. So pour me another, I'm feeling good! <laughs> hey! hey got, got any cheese to go with the wine? I'll give you the cheese, but no more wine. You're supposed to be on duty. Look at you. You can barely lift your sword, much less protect the manor from an intruder. Oh, fiddlesticks. Nobody could get in here. Lord G's got lots of more guards around and all kinds of those mechanical eyes. Any tapper who tried to break in would get, get caught in a jeffy. Maybe so, but it's not fair to the others who have to do all the work while you're slacking off. Slacking off? Not old Benny here. I'm guarding the barmaid. You're too important to let anything happen to you. Hey, hey, how, how, how's about a little kiss? Benny, your breath could choke a burrick at 20 paces. Just eat your cheese and try to sober up, okay? There we go. So, it's a long conversation, so they don't get any first alerts during that conversation. Unless it's something that takes a long time for them to settle down from. So we managed now to take a purse worth 30 in a box behind the counter. Um, a bottle of wine worth 35. And... A pile of coins over here worth 45, I think. Yeah. 2554 we should have. Good. Okay. <coughs> then we can make it for the real save. <coughs> that we can't do. But bad timing here, so we're gonna have to wait for the guard to come by. We can probably do that. Yeah, that we can do. Get the count for this room, a security room. Turn off the lights again on the in the um, hallway. Head in here, quite a bit of loot here. Dice. Four stacks of copper coins, one silver, one gold. One gold vase, 2761. And then we are going to head downstairs to the theater. masks as well. Let's see if we can hide behind here. That was pretty lucky. Hmm. Oh, we're going to follow him. So we're now in the ground floor of the theater. We basically moved our way through the game room and then checked off the security room and went north here and then uh, dropped down again. I am going to check. Did I lock the door up there? 
Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, good. Does that little weird loop back? I remember that. <coughs> there we go. Account for this room as well. You can take the broaded arrows from him. There's nothing else of value in here. Here's the secret. You can see a little lock behind here. And that actually accept, makes a lever accessible there. It doesn't actually unlock the room, but here's the secret. With a vase, maybe that's the last one, I can't remember. Three copper stacks, two gold stacks, and one silver stack. And then Geller's Diary. That is the written proof that you have to find. So you actually have to find the secret to be able to complete that mandatory objective. That lout, Feringer. How on earth can I spy on him if, if he won't stay here? I've had listening devices installed in different rooms to try to overhear him, but all I ever catch is maid gossip and guard chatter. The only good catch was finding out that Lady Burkhaus was the one preventing me from opening that new factory on the west side. Forcing workers to toil under inhumane conditions, indeed. Well, I know how to get her out of the way. Ha, huh, I knew it. The grain commissioner has a plan with the Lord Holmes to hold back the grain shipment until the price rises some more. No wonder baked goods have been so expensive. I think I can get Holmes to sell some of that surplus grain to me. I could make a tidy profit off of it. The ladies Warwick and Brickhouse certainly have quite the feud going on. Such a language. One would hardly expect it from society's finest. Lady B insisting on her innocence and Lady W's accusations. You neither, yet neither of them suspected it was me that had a forged letter made detailing Lord Warwick's uh, dalliance with Lady Burkhouse left where Lady W would certainly find it. Funniest thing is Lord W can't stand her. At least my objective of keeping Lady B from interfering with my plans seemed to be complete. At this rate, she would be lucky if anyone still talks to her. No wonder Lord Garbo always has insomnia. His lady snores louder than a burrick. I'll have the steward send up some a laudanum lace tea to allow him some rest. His goodwill has been very useful on several occasions. At last, something useful. Feringer is keeping the blood diamond at his house, and not at the museum, like he had said. He is doubling the guard on the third floor until it is moved into the museum opening night. He has also doubled the guards at the museum because every thief in town is trying to get a hold of that stone. Ha! All they are doing is training Faringer's guards better. I knew the listening devices of various invented were a good investment. So this we can't drop, and it's an objective. We have three Victrollers here we're going to listen to. This one. I once had a girl, or should I say, she once had me. She showed me a room 
wasn't it good? Norwegian wood. She asked me to say and she told me to sit anywhere. And I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair, just some taffer took it. Shut up, you drunken off-key taffer. Oh, what? I was wondering why there were five love crazed burricks right outside the gate. You're supposed to be guarding this place, not singing and dancing around, you great oof. Can you say that, Isabella? He certainly does seem to know a lot of what goes on. But to claim that he eavesdrops on his guests. Well, either he listens in on his guests, or else he is a servant spying for him. How else would he know what he knows? You heard him this morning. He asked me if I had found my ring. So? 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 I didn't mention it to him. Come to think of it, I didn't say anything to the maid either. The only person I said anything to was you, dear. Only you. You're right. There is something odd about that. You know, both I and the Master for the Grain Commission visited here last week. The Guildmaster and I discussed holding the grain in the city warehouses back until the price rose up some more. And you know, I'd been telling everyone that there was no grain to be had until the next shipment came in. Yet Gellard asked me to sell him some of my surplus from the warehouse that same evening. He knew it was there. No wonder he always hosts all of the Guild leaders whenever possible. And it also explains how he's able to get the favors from the city commissioners. There's a lot of them guests here as well. I wonder what he has on them. Blackmail? Yes, I could see him doing that. Whoa. You know you can't take it with you. But I can. So, that means we can actually grab this. This should fetch a nice price. This Victrola record. And that is another bonus objective. Um... The nobility buys more than just trinkets. I wonder how much the guildmaster will pay to keep this recording silent. Nice. That's it here, and then we can leave. Got to make sure we close it and lock it. What's that? That is terrible, terrible timing. Okay, we're just going to have to wait. Yeah, we can't do that. Let's see, so we have to go in here to get the staircase. Well, we're going to go up there anyway. Not too long. Um, and these are the three rooms we're not going to be able to get on this floor here. Yep. We don't have much left. Okay, so now we're in the barracks downstairs. That archer that we saw earlier there, he has then a copy of the housekeep key and brought it arrows. Here's a loaf of bread. There's also a loaf in here and uh, something else, I think. under 
here. This is the door that takes you out to the hallway east of the chapel. That door. Okay. So this is the staircase up. Remember that no servants are to enter the barracks unless permitted by either myself or Captain Horath. Sergeant Rathbone. So I'm going to show you now. We back up here. Who's that? Hey. Let's wait for him to pass. Okay, I'm gonna accept that first alert. I'm not gonna do this. No I'm gonna reload. So. Guess there's nothing. I want to show you that you can't get up here without dun, 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 getting spotted by that dun, dun, dun. camera. But I've not found a way to get back down. <clears throat> At the very top of the stairs, we're too far away for the camera to catch us. See? But going back down, you can't do that. Because you're coming from a light area and entering a dark one. So, um, that's why those two pieces of loot here has to be skipped. So, unless somebody can prove me otherwise. They see through the fireplace, that's why. There's a vase. We don't need to do anything there. What? <coughs> did he see me here? I think he did. Yeah, I think so. <coughs> What's that? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <coughs> I can get the timing of these now. Got to visit the bathroom. We can turn off some more lights, I think. And then we can go into this room here, this bedroom. Loaf of bread and a purse. Worth 40. No. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> I'm 
empty storage room. This one we have to pick. Stack of copper coins there. That you can't get out here. Loaf, empty, empty. Oh, yeah. Here's two copper coin stacks. Let's read this first. Dear Kevil, I hope this note finds you in time. Remember how you said that Peter and Mary were on their way back? They never arrived here. No one has seen them in months. They both sent home notes saying that the captain seemed to be stalking them. And last week I saw the captain pick up a child and throw him against the wall. He told Lord, Lord Ge uh, Gellard that the child was trying to s steal something from the coach. That kid was just walking down the street. He didn't do anything. Lord Gellard told him, good work. I took the unconscious child home, but he died the next day. There was something really wrong with that man, and Lord Gellard won't do anything about him. Please, Kevil, get out of there as soon as you can. Aunt Martha. Here's a moss arrow by that mushroom. There's a box we can pick here. Mm. Someone make a noise? Man, he hears that well. Coins worth one twenty five. There we go. That is everything here. Did I get spotted by him? I can't tell, because when they've stopped, they don't say anything. <laughs> then we can go up here. Oh! <laughs> I was wondering where that guard was, and he didn't say anything, so... So we basically only have the library left now, and then returning keys and leaving the mission. But the library is tough. The toughest room in the mission by far. So 
I'm gonna go out here now since that camera is. I'm not sure why that door there is open. I certainly haven't opened that door. I haven't ever used that door, so it's got to be this guy. He probably bumped into it as it was closing. So that's his fault. go in here. This is the library in here. We have to make it real safe. This is going to be tough here. So, there's a guard here that patrols up and down. He stops at the end of each of his patrol routes. There's also another stationary guard below, an archer. Spectacles, 3203, and then read this. That fat pig, Ferringer, does he presume to undermine my status and importance in the city by inviting me to the opening of his museum? Does he presume to show to the city that his wealth exceeds that of mine? I must deal him with him forth forthwith, perhaps acquiring the blood diamond beneath his sniveling nose on the eve of the opening ceremony will show him that he is of inconsequence to the city. The jewel will indeed make a nice addition to mine own collection, and if anyone, another stone were to be substituted for the genuine article, a fraud good enough to pass off to anyone but a jeweler or Faringer himself, what sweet revenge that would be. But how to acquire it, and make the switch? A thief for hire? It would take a master thief to circumvent the security devices provided by the mechanists. I've heard of rumors of one who is currently residing in Shalebridge that can be hired, but I cannot approach him directly or even verify that he is uh, as good as they say. I don't even know where in the museum the diamond is being kept. I must talk to various about this. Okay. So we have to follow that guard back down now. And then we have to open up the secret passage right underneath the camera. And that is by frobbing the painting with the red girl. Or the girl in the red dress, I should say. And there's only one way I've found to do that. Because it's so high up, you have to use a rope arrow. But you have to be hidden from both the camera and the guard. when we frob it. <laughs> we have to follow him back down. I'm going to make a real save again on top of that, just in case.
He is so weary, this guy. You can see that painting is up top behind that pillar over there. <laughs> he heard that too. camera there. Now I have to shoot a rope. Like that. And then jump. can hide from him here. Yes, we can. All right. Okay, he heard the camera react. He didn't react to me. Okay, good. Just had to climb down a little bit before we did it. Okay, now the only place we can hide from him is up here. I'm not going to leave the rope here because I don't know if he sees it coming back down. Not to get the sheriff to spring for better uniform. Things make us look like stupid little pottery figures. If you take it like that, then he won't see you. We have to wait for him to get up there, and then we have to dart in here and hide behind that pillar. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Someone say so. What? Why does he see me there? He shouldn't. Not again. Okay. Someone say. is one of the difficult moves here to get across here without getting spotted by anybody. There we go. Get the pile of coins there. That is the door that I said you can't open and close because when you close it he'll see it. You can turn off the you can turn off the the camera with the switch I think here. Huh? What? Yeah. I think there's also another switch in a book upstairs. And you can get his uh, brought it arrows, which is the last pickpocket. Now we have to wait for the next cycle so that we can go into that secret passage that opened up. It was a bookcase that sort of slid open. Now, of course, we have to close that bookcase as well. For Supreme. Um... And there's no switch from the other side to keep it open. So what we have to do, we have to use the healing potion that we started with and block that bookcase so that we can close it from outside. Then when we take the healing potion afterwards, it'll, it, will, um, it will close automatically. Let's see, now we got to do this. Who's that? <clears throat> 
too early. There. <clears throat> now we're covered by that bookcase there. This shouldn't be too hard if we just time it. go. Now what we also have to do, the reason I haven't returned the keys yet, something that I realized a little bit too late in my practice run. Hmm. This looks like the way out. So this is then the library basement that will take us out. This door here, you actually need the master key for. So that we have to lock block open. Because we have to return the master key to his chambers, of course. I don't think any other doors here require it. Let me just check. Good clog, is that you? No, because that has a lever to it, this last gate. So then we have that lock blocked, then we can go back up. Drop it there, it should block it. You've met Oh Ugh, I hate creeping. He hears me jumping on carpet for crying out loud. Now we have to wait for him to come back down. Let's see if we can do that. That's going to be tough. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure that will block it, won't it? Yeah. Nobody better be tapping around. Someone say something. Yeah, I can't hide here either, so. <coughs> we just have to wait a few cycles here for this to work. So we have to follow him up. I'm not going to close the door now. If I said that, I'm not going to do that. said uh, it probably never was true and I just believed him like a taff head <laughs> they're probably laughing at me now behind my back uh, not true at all nope got to get the sheriff to spring for better uniforms things 
to make us look like stupid little pottery figures. That didn't. So I want to jump so that I land on the ledge of one of those. Cycle, but I have to follow him up. That's the problem. Hmm. No, I should have joined the army. Yeah, you get medals for awards. I see there? I can do this. Come on. He hears so well the little tap, and he's no chance. Nobody bet. <laughs> All right, who's making the rap? There. Okay, I got it now. Let's see. Oof. There. And now we have to make sure that we lock block this door. Like that. first, because that was the last one we took. can actually put that back in the crate, which is kind of cool. Really? <laughs> I just find it funny because it's so, it's annoying at one point and it's just so, um, it's frustrating. <laughs> if I had waited for him, I would have been down a long time ago. Okay, I'm just going to wait for him. <laughs> All right.
That is probably the way to do it. And we're not going to return the security Gosh. key just yet. Dun, dun, dun. Now we can head down here and turn on the cameras again. we can't go up this hallway because the camera's on so now we have to go back down and up to the dining hall again so we have to go let's see is there anywhere we haven't found it no it's just those three areas about just waiting for him and then when we get to the dining hall we can take the dumb waiter down to the basement to turn off the turn on back on the alarm system and return the house key key and then we can go back up the dumb waiter and into the library again and end the mission. Is that you? Actually, now we don't have to take this door. We can go over and take this one. Go. 
housekeep key we can drop anywhere. He walks through this door, so that'll be good. <clears throat> hey, you dropped your key. You dropped it. Mm -hmm. Then we can do this. Then all we have to do is return the security key and make sure we close up those two doors on the secret bookshelf. Hello. He saw that at least. God, I'm bored. Eight hours of this. Let me home. Who's there? Oh, he saw me move when I landed. That was a good shot. Because I've been here only a few months. I think that I can just get away with pushing me around. I'll show them someday. Someday I'll get to where they serve. Go, we can drop that over here. I actually think I pushed into him a little bit there. <laughs> that is not good. Why is the sound continuing here? That's odd.
Jordan. <clears throat> Who'd I see? Oh, come on. Too impatient here. All right, who's making the racket? That wasn't exactly a racket, was it? At least it works, the blocking of the potion. Too far to the left. I don't remember having this much problems actually when I swing around on the rope and then I get spotted. Okay, well I don't need to close it right now. I can wait for him to pass to do that. Can't be too careful. Do that. Did he hear a close? <clears throat> I don't think he did. No. Good. Okay. Check the inventory. Healing potion we had. Compass scroll. Yeah. 
that's good. Okay. So here, this is empty, but up here there's a statue. Put it to 49, and then... Six coin stacks, 33, 13, that's max for Supreme. And then we can go through. So that was a successful ghost of high society. Uh, we busted Supreme twice. We turned off the alarm system, which is counted as a security system, for the gem collection in the gallery. Um, we also turned off a camera outside of Gellert Chambers. We don't need to turn off the two other cameras that is connected to the same circuit, but we couldn't avoid that. But those were the only two busts for Supreme, as far as I know. If you noticed anything else, let me know. But I don't think we got any first alerts. I was very careful about that. So, hopefully. Stats. 1 hour, 40 minutes, 40 seconds. We took 33.13 loot out of 33.40. We, we skipped a stack of silver coins and I think a statue in the upper floor of the barracks. We couldn't get past the, the security camera. You can turn it off for regular ghosts, so that's not an issue there. We picked two pockets out of 14. We uh, picked five locks. We did take, took no backstabs, no knockouts, no damage dealt taken, no healing taken, nothing, nobody killed. Uh, no Iron Beast destroyed, obviously. And we found all six secrets, which is nice. So I like this mission a lot when it comes to ghosting. I think it was a lot better than my first playthrough. Uh, and I enjoy both this one and Hidden Agenda by Asylum, but I probably don't regard them as highly as many other people do. But to each their own there, of course. Uh, the next mission I'm going to do is probably going to be behind closed doors. It's either that or Ascend the Dim Valley by Dirk Bogan. But I think uh, behind closed doors will be the next one. So be on the lookout for that. As always, appreciate your feedback. Leave a comment uh, if you have anything you... you uh, like or dislike about this mission or any feedback whatsoever. It's always appreciated. And uh, you guys stay safe and have a good night. Bye-bye.